Hey, if by some weird reason you're not familiar and you want to know what is Apple Siri, it's intelligent virtual assistant that lives deeply inside of Apple operative systems and ecosystem. Siri uses voice or any other queries by users in order to answer individual requests or perform desired action. While Siri may not be the first attempt to develop a digital assistant nor voice recognition technology, it was commercially the most influential implementation of such concept into modern device. In this video, let's talk about the future of Apple Virtual Assistant while previously running through interesting facts in the past and the present, right after intro. Hi guys and welcome to Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco and this is your weekly fix of tech news, leaks, rumors and opinions. Everything about Apple and their competitors. If you're a fan of this type of content, please subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Apple introduced Siri back in 2011 and it was something really impressive, even with all the flaws. While some people may not know, there was Siri before Apple introduced it. Siri was a product of decades of SRI international research in the fields of artificial intelligence. To be precise, it was the offspring of US Defense Advanced Research Project Agency investment called Project Kahlo, which means cognitive agent that learns and organizes. The name Kahlo was actually inspired by the Latin word Kalonius, which means a military servant. If you look online, you can see folks wondering where did Apple get Siri name from? Siri INC was originally incorporated by year 2007, and it was founded and led by Dick Kitlaus, Tom Gruber, and Adam Chever, who were allegedly involved in SRI International Project. The name Siri was given by Dag Kitlaus, who initially wanted to use Siri to name his daughter, but he got the son. Siri is Norwegian name, and it means something like beautiful woman who leads you to victory. So when did Apple join the fund? Siri Incorporated has launched Siri Personal Assistant app for iOS in 2010, and there were even plans to expand on other platforms. But just two months after the app hit the App Store, Steve Jobs himself negotiated with Siri Incorporated founders, and Apple acquired Siri for $200 million. Now here's something interesting for those who don't know. This wasn't the first time that Apple considered digital assistant solution. Way back in 1987, Apple under the helm of John Scully was exploring similar concept and even published interesting videos under the name Knowledge Navigator. Although Siri was a breakthrough as the first intelligent virtual assistant way before the competition, as we already know by now, was surpassed by Google Voice Assistant and Amazon Alexa. The truth is, even from early beginnings, Siri was designed as travel concierge or companion and specialized for very specific tasks. Unfortunately, this was only the portion what Apple once acquired wanted to be. So Apple decided to enforce some changes. This resulted the issues with unreliability, problems with bad voice recognition, which is still troubling even today, and of course, questionable and not very accurate responses. When you compare Apple City versus Google Assistant or Siri versus Alexa, Apple dedication to users' privacy was one of the main limiting factors of Siri development. You see, both Google and Amazon weren't very privacy oriented and have been gathering personal data from users and selling it to third parties. Apple was so far hesitant to go in that direction, officially standing firm behind the idea that user privacy is the most important. That didn't help Apple a lot, since it resulted with limited inputs of information necessary for machine learning and AI development. To make things worse, Siri terrible voice recognition issue have caused accidental recordings of user information that went to various contractors worldwide. One more scandal in Apple's leave. In some instances, it appeared like Apple never gave up on Siri. As always, Apple purchased many startups and some were related to internet and social media search, others AI and voice recognition. Some of those acquisitions didn't end up so well. Internal issues between the teams, some critics 
critics saying that CD code was slow and buggy. There were other situations as well where Apple seemed like it doesn't care much about its virtual assistant. For example, Siri team wasn't even aware about the development of HomePod that was happening for almost two years. A device that primarily relies on voice assistant interaction, which gives the impression that HomePod wasn't even considered to come with Siri in the first place. Maybe management of Apple is not certain which direction they want to go. One group of engineers suggested maybe it would be the best to rebuild Siri from the scratch. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. So what is the future of Siri? Recently, Apple made some new old but promising steps. Once again, acquiring a couple of startups like Inductive from Canada, which is specialized in AI and machine learning, as well as Voices from Ireland, which focuses to better understand human language. Apple also had a former Google's AI leader, John Giandrea, which shows that there is an interest to preserve Siri and to make it better. Some rumors even suggest we might expect so-called Siri OS till the end of this year. How exactly that operative system will function, we don't know yet. Recent speculations reveal that real Siri updates and improvements will take place in 2021, possibly thanks to those two latest acquisitions. Now here comes the best part. Allegedly, Apple is planning to release a mysterious Siri-enabled device in 2021. Tech community is guessing. Could be Apple AR glasses or Apple Glass. But let's see. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. And once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Digital Marketing Channel. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.